Hey, what's up everybody? This is actually a story I heard on the local news. I live here in Orange County in California, and unfortunately we don't get our own news, so we have to hear the LA news all the time. Don't ask me why that is, I guess we've got no news going on here. So one of the stories I heard, and this was actually just from today, the 26th, that I wanted to talk about was this. LA Sheriff orders all gun stores closed amid coronavirus crackdown. Okay, so let's read a little bit of this here and see what they say. Los Angeles County Sheriff Alex Villanueva has ordered all gun shops closed and sales halted during the coronavirus pandemic unless buyers are police or security personnel. Villanueva said he sought to implement the closure earlier this week, but was told by county lawyers that gun shops could be considered essential under county and state measures to encourage social distancing and cut the spread of the virus. The opinion forced the sheriff to backtrack and suspend the closure. But then Governor Gavin Newsom's office said sheriffs do have the authority to make such closures. Villanueva said he consulted with police chiefs across the country and decided that only police officers and licensed security guards will be allowed to purchase weapons and ammunition at stores. Because that makes perfect sense. When you're talking about a legal issue, whether you're talking about two-way or not, uh, why would you consult lawyers? You would consult other police chiefs around the country? That doesn't make any sense to me. I'm sure they'll talk about that a little bit further. And Gavin Newsom is known for doing things his own way, regardless of the law. And that's what it is with a supermajority of Democrats here in California. But we're not going to go off on that tangent. Irrelevant right now. Let's read the rest of the article. Villanueva said the closure will apply to county areas and any cities patrolled by the sheriff's department. He said police chiefs and other cities will decide whether gun shops continue to serve the public. This was a responsible medium to respect the chief of police in their jurisdiction, he said. The sheriff said he is now informing all gun stores in the sheriff's service area that they must close. He said Pasadena has already told him its gun shops will also close to everyone but security guards and law enforcement. Amid the pandemic, officials have strengthened rules, ordering all non-essential businesses to cease in-person operations and close to the public. Exceptions include food and medical services, transportation, and social services, and also weed shops, in case you didn't know that. They are considered essential, or at least they were about a week ago when I was looking at what was and was not allowed to be open. Maybe that's changed. We have received complaints from particular businesses that have not been adhering to the social distancing. Chief among them are gun shops, nightclubs, bars, and strip clubs. So we have fanned out and are making sure these businesses are complying, Villanueva said Tuesday in explaining the department's original thinking. We are trying to get them to close their doors. If they don't close their doors, they will be cited, which could mean the loss of a business license. And wouldn't they just love that? They would love to pull that business license over something like this. You know that. If you live in California or any of these other kind of anti-two-way states, you know how that is. I'm not going to get into that whole thing that much because I don't own a gun myself. Or do I? <laughs> you know, there's some state legislative bodies out there that are heavily opposed. They want to take away your guns. And there's also states that are more lenient with it. So it's the red and blue thing, right? So you've got the argument on both sides of the aisle. Some owners had already closed or were scheduling appointments. Groups including gun owners of California said this week that they could go to a court and fight to stay open. Villanueva, a gun owner, noted that he supports the Second Amendment, but said that given the spread of coronavirus in Los Angeles County, only essential businesses should be open. It's not an issue of banning the sale of guns, which the Second Amendment is about, he said. Gun sales are surging in many U.S. states, especially those hit hardest by the coronavirus, such as California. Among the factors fueling the increase are concerns from first-time gun buyers, who fear an unraveling of the social order and those who worry that the government might use its emergency powers to restrict gun purchases. Actually, what they don't cite here, what I was listening to on the news, was they were saying that due to the fact that more people are at home now. This was the reason they cited, no joke. This is what they cited on the local LA station. They said that they felt like for the safety of the public that they wanted to do this. They felt that, as I said, with everybody being at home more now, that domestic violence instances were going to be on the rise. That was the main thing they cited 
<laughs> Basically, it's funny that you're taking advantage of a situation. So I've seen liquor stores open. I've seen the weed shops open. And I'm not talking about any of those vices. I'm not saying that those are any more important or different than guns. Obviously, guns kill. Yada, yada, yada. Alcohol kills as well. Weed doesn't. I get all that. I'm saying how do you go about deeming something as an essential business or not? To me, it doesn't seem essential that an individual would need to get weed during this time, unless it's for medical purposes. It doesn't seem, and we know how loose they are with those laws in terms of who's medically needy. It doesn't seem necessary to me that liquor stores need to be open. Does it to you? The only thing I'm talking about is what is deemed necessary or not. To me, I don't care if any of them are open. Keep the weed shops open. Keep that liquor flowing, baby. Keep the guns a flowing. Keep it all flowing. <laughs> to me, I don't care because I don't have any issues with any of those vices. Or do I? Again, it. he says here, I'm pro 2A. Yeah, sure, because you have your gun already. And that's the whole argument you'll get from the pro 2A crowd is the well-regulated militia argument, right? Uh, this is an additional step during these times to allow only individuals in government, police officers, sheriff's department, anybody in law enforcement, plus security guards, again, the tyrannical government argument, to own the guns, to be the only ones that are allowed to acquire guns in LA County at this time. So again, it's just taking it an additional step. Now for me, what will be interesting is if some of these gun lobby groups go ahead and file that lawsuit to try to keep these stores open. I would think there's going to be a point where the saturation level is achieved in terms of guns. Everybody who wants the gun is going to have one, then it'll kind of start to peter off <laughs> to harken back to my Pornhub story. But I would think that you would eventually see some kind of saturation, like I said, to where people weren't going out in mass and buying guns anyway. But getting back to the whole lawsuit thing, it'll be interesting to see what happens with that if they're able to keep the gun shops open. Additionally, what happens after this? Say this is allowed to happen in California. And as I said, in these states that are against 2A, obviously you can point to Virginia or any state that's really deep blue what they're trying to do in terms of regulating gun sales, purchases, etc. is what happens after this. And there's going to be a lot of changes within the government that comes out of this whole corona thing. And this will be one aspect of that. So what's going to happen afterwards? Uh, what if this is on the books and then they're like, oh, all of a sudden we saw a drop in crime by nine bazillion percent. I think we should keep all the gun stores closed from now on. Never trust your government. They don't always have your best interests at heart. Sometimes they do. It depends on what side of the debate you're on on this one. But what I'm looking at is what's going to happen afterwards if this is allowed to stay in place during the duration of this pandemic. However long we stay on lockdown, what happens afterwards? What's the legislation or what are the laws going to look like afterwards? And how are they going to try to frame the narrative to sell it to people? Cynical as always, <laughs> especially when it comes to the actions of government that say, I'm okay having a gun, but you can't have one. But that's my video, everybody. So let me know what you think. Interesting stuff out of California, right? We'll see if other counties within California and then other states follow suit during this time. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. If you have a gun, Keep that baby shined up and keep it ready. If you don't have a gun, maybe it's time to go out and get one. <laughs> All right, everybody. Take care. Be safe out there. And as always, thanks for taking the time to watch my video.